Wrong way. Let's move on. Absolute place. Yes, there is. I remember now. It's always good to try and assassinate these people once you know they're there. Just take them out, take them out and take him out. Save so much ammunition and time. Caution! Oh, I can't be. Experience. Well, not really. It's gave me some. I can't see anyone in that one, but staircase that way, which I don't trust. What's in the fridge? Purified water. That's always welcome. Probably said before, after I finish this playthrough, I'm probably going to do a hardcore mode. Depending on how well this, this series kind of goes. Which obviously I'll have a different playlist for and a different cover photo. It's very terminal. in the pocket. Quite useful to actually go in here. Look at that. Now that's useful. Microfusion cells, I don't mind if I do. More microfusion cells, I don't mind if I do. No, I don't want to tire on. 
Find the fuel, don't mind. Let's see if there's any medicine in there. Let's see, stim pack, rebound, grab away. Dirty water. Could sell that off, I guess. Scrap metal is always welcome. Difference between hardcore mode and let's say any other mode. Right, you fucking burn you fuckers. Yeah, the difference between hardcore mode and any other mode is that ammunition has a weight. Previously, or currently, actually, that's a mission didn't actually make anything, you can carry as much as you like, and it wouldn't affect your, well, carrying capacity, which is this bit here. By the hardcore mode on, all the ammunition would have weight. So basically it's become an RPG version of Stalker. In my view. Except you need to drink, you need to eat. Stim packs don't cure any crippled body parts, so you have to have doctor's bags. Can't carry as many guns for the obvious reason of you don't have much stuff. So it's gonna be interesting. point in this office. It's got nothing in it. I was hoping to find something good. Oh well. Now that I've got the key... I can now go higher up. a lot further than I need to. Let's back through this way. Quickest reload ever. Got in there yet? Nope, don't need to go in there. Should be just a wooden door. If I'm mistaken, right here. It's very important to get this just out of the way so you don't come back here again later. If you come in here, go inside this locker, you get yourself some filters. They're useless now, but later on, you'll see why I got those. I'll explain later. Spoilers! I say that because not everyone's played this game. We haven't done all the side missions. It's possible to do, it's actually physically impossible to do every single side mission in this game. Right, going to pest control. Open up the door. That's 
nice we go. in there is the computer. How am I supposed to get in there? I haven't got a key. Hmm? How do I get in without a key? Bugs, you burn. Fucking burn, you bastards. Sweet time. I suppose it. Ah, oh, she's such a dear. Not like that pompous little Peden she works for. But that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need. Good. Meet me. Just gotta follow her there. I think she fixes the elevator. It's quite handy. She's fixed it. Good, you're here. Ready to begin. Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. 
I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable... The gas becomes... I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. Good. I know exactly how to deal with that. There is a very nice trick for that. And pest control. What you need is a grenade. Gas is coming from 